evening on this Saturday. I'm Christina Rondone and we begin tonight with breaking news out of San Francisco. 49ers first round draft pick Ricky Pearsall was shot and wounded in San Francisco's Union Square this afternoon right near Geary and Grant Avenue. Mayor London Breed says police do have the shooter in custody. Let's get right to KTV's Bailey O'Carroll. She is live in our newsroom with late breaking details. Bailey. Hey, Christina, according to our sources, we know that two people were shot, one of them being 49ers rookie wide receiver Ricky Pearsall, who was shot in the chest in San Francisco's Union Square, this in an attempted robbery. We do not know the extent of Pearsall's injuries or how many times he was shot. The 49ers drafted Pearsall with the 31st overall pick in this year's NFL draft. Uh, however, he is yet to play a down with the Niners as he's been nursing a non-football related shoulder injury throughout the preseason. He did just recently return to practice and was slated to play in the team's week one matchup at home on September 9th against the New York Jets. And I want to go to this now. While he did not explicitly mention Pearsall, a fellow Niners wide receiver Debo Samuel taking to X to write that quote, he is good. Thank God. And then in another tweet, San Francisco Mayor London Breed saying that SFPD was on scene immediately and an arrest of the shooter was made. She went on to say that her thoughts are with Ricky and his family at this time, that she will provide more updates, including on his condition as she receives them. Now, we are awaiting an official statement from the 49ers, but we did just get an update from SFPD, so I want to read a little bit about what they said. They said that the suspect who they arrested uh, was also injured in an altercation that happened as a result of that attempted robbery. They also say that police will hold a press conference at SF General Hospital where Pearsall and the other, uh, the other person who was shot are being treated right now. We expect to learn more information tonight. Christina, we'll send it back to you. And hopefully they do make full recoveries. We'll have more tonight at 10. Bailey, thank you.